turn that crap off, please? Oh, there's some kids at home. Kids at home, go to bed. I'm trying to do drugs. You know the question always gets raised. What broke up this band? What broke up America's greatest, most favorite band of all time? I'll tell you this much, it wasn't my fault. But you know, you've got to look at the roots of it. You know, as the producer, I'm always asked, what what went wrong? What broke up Nothing But Sky? I mean, their first two albums, Don't Worry We Have Day Jobs and Computer Corn Chips, it's, it's, you know, critically acclaimed album, but they, you know, Def Jam uh, really didn't promote them. Uh, they didn't really mix well with the rest of their uh, stable of stars. And then, of course, uh, you know, Get A Wild's Hot, Get A Wild's Butter was released, and, um, you know, the Blue Eyed Happy Girl was just off the charts. And... She's my Blue Eyed Happy Girl. I want her with me all the time. And, and that's really when things, um, when the money poured in, uh, you know, that's, that's really when things went, went haywire. Uh, you know, Brandon just freaked out. We don't know what happened there. You know, Scott just, he started demanding more time on the albums. We don't really know what happened to Craig. He just, he started just ordering cheese. I mean, by the, by the pallets full and, and then he fell in with the, you know, the wine and cheese crowd. And, and uh, that just was, was bad news from the beginning. And all that wine and cheese just added to the tension. I could have I order something, I want it done. But it really came down to uh, Craig and Michael. Craig uh, wanted to bring in his uh, financial advisor. And, you know, there was a lot of money floating around. Of course, Michael uh, had his people. Uh, Brandon, again, couldn't be reached. And um, we really couldn't get anything done. And I think that was the beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. 